I'm Fred Wilkinson, Chief Editor of the National Provisioner. Today I'm speaking with Erin Lucci. She is with Certified Angus Beef, and we're going to be talking about roast season marketing. Uh, this time of year uh, in much of the country, uh, it's cooling off and kind of comfort food season. So Erin, um, what can you tell us about uh, merchandising trends that are influencing the marketing of uh, beef roast products? Yeah, so it's definitely a chilly morning here um, in Worcester, so totally hear you. It is roasting season. Um, lots of great stuff that we've got in the works for merchandising those roasts this holiday season. Um, so we know that consumers, you know, they want that great tasting roast, and they also want it to be kind of picture worthy. So we have lots of great things um, to really paint that picture for them, whether that be product photography, um, we would have that from a cook standpoint, but also from um, an e-commerce standpoint, raw. Um, we'd also have some great videography that we would have available to our partners to use to, to again, merchandise those high quality roasts. So really um, giving them what that end product is going to look like and hoping that they will, you know, take the plunge and get excited to, to do some roasting of their own. Are there any uh, kind of unique cross promotional opportunities at retail that, uh, you are aware of for, for roast products? Yeah, so we're really excited about, um, we have actually a Roast Perfect Consumer app. Um, if you don't have it, you should go ahead and download it. It would be a consumer app that um, helps a consumer roast perfect. So it has a lot of great tips and tricks for roasting. Um, it's got some videos, it's got recipes. It also has a roast timer. So you can actually put in, you know, I'm looking to feed this many people, what size roast should I purchase? Um, it'll tell you how long you should cook it based on the degree of doneness that you're wanting. Um, so a lot of great, you know, resources to really make sure that that consumer is successful at home. It's also a great tool for meat department staff. If they're, you know, getting questions from consumers, they can use this tool to, to be confident on their own and, and what to recommend to their consumer. And what did you say the name of your app is again? It is called Roast Perfect. Roast Perfect. And that's just downloadable from the CAB website, I presume? Um, we would have information of it on our website, but you can get it from the Apple Store as well. Okay, great. So uh, what value-added uh, product developments are kind of fueling innovation for the roast category? Yeah, so definitely lots going on in the value-added category. Um, from a roasting standpoint, we would have a fully cooked prime rib available. Um, and what we feel, you know, with that is it's, just one more step of assurance to make sure that that roast is going to perform, perform perfect for that consumer. So it's just kind of a reheat item, but it's got that good um, home cooked flavor and, and it's going to be guaranteed good. It's not certified. It's not the best. Hmm. So just out of curiosity from a, like a retail pricing standpoint, how yeah. would a, kind of a more uh, prepared product like that compare with a, just like a, a traditional raw roast product. Yep. It's gonna you're gonna pay a, a premium for that. But what we've seen with consumers is that they're willing to pay that premium. Um, they're willing to pay the premium for the quality of the certified Angus beef brand, but also for that um, you know, one more step of assurance that it's going to be cooked perfectly. And speaking of pricing these days where you know food price inflation is a concern for pretty much all consumers, yep. how is that uh, influencing or affecting the uh, sales and marketing for uh, different beef roast products? Yeah, so definitely, um, you know, something that's that's out there in the industry today. Um, but what we found over year over year um, and what we're continuing to say going into to this roasting season is that consumers still want quality um, and they're willing to pay for it. You know, if they're going to buy that high quality, um, more expensive cut of meat, they're willing to pay, you know, a little bit more to guarantee it's gonna be that high quality eating experience. And when I attended the recent Certified Angus Beef Annual Conference out in Las Vegas, uh, heard a number of people uh, talk up the strip loin roast, which I was not familiar with. Could you tell us a little bit about the strip loin roast? Yes, so we have actually um, called it the year of the strip roast. Certified Angus Beef is saying it's the year of the strip roast. Um, we're really excited about that cut, and we want consumers and retailers to be excited as well. Uh, from a retailer standpoint, there is a lot of um, gross profit opportunity with that cut. 
Um, if you think of your traditional prime rib roast, we know that the price of that um, continues to get to increase right now in the season and the strip roast continues to go down. Um, the strip roast has a lot of great value. There's also availability on that product. So we're really pushing it for not only to um, get more consumers roasting, but if we're going to lose a, if we're going to happen to lose a consumer um, because of these prices, we want to make sure that we offer them other um, options. And we think that the strip roast is a great one for that. Another thing with the strip roast is that there's um, different options when it comes to merchandising. So again, we're, we're touting this to consumers and we're touting this to retailers um, that, yeah, you could cook it in its traditional roast format, or you can even split it um, you know, lengthwise and get two nice logs. And then you have just a different, a high quality and even higher quality um, plate presentation that maybe looks more like a tenderloin, but it's still going to have that beefy, robust flavor more similar to that prime rib. So we've got a lot of great resources um, that we're pitching out to our retailers this season. We've got some um, on pack recipe labels. Uh, we've got some in-store signage. Um, we're actually, it's, it smells amazing in the office right now because we're actually working on um, some videos to help promote that item as well. Yeah, along those lines, um, in your experience, uh, what has been kind of a good driver of sales? Has it been more, say, marketing via like a kind of online outreach or like point of sale at the you know, retail grocery store? Or? Yeah, I think it's certainly a blend. I mean, we like to um, make sure we're covering all of our bases, whether that be on the digital side of things and promoting items, um, but also at that point of purchase in store. So signage, making sure that the consumer is going to be um, successful in finding it, but also as they take it home, with an on pack recipe label. Um, but, you know, still that standard, uh, your broadcast television commercials, uh, digital media, lots of just definitely uh, layering and making sure that consumers are seeing it when they're ready to see it. Well, Aaron, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having me.